Hi hey everyone, Paolo here. So welcome back to just another dang how to channel. So we had a question on one of the videos on web scraping on how to save the file to an HTML. So I thought I'd do another episode here on the web scraping series and show you how easy it is to save a file, uh, save the files that you scrape as HTML. So what I have here are some site scraper to CSV project which saves the file as CSV and the other ones which saves the records as CSV. So what I was doing on this website, um, Books to Scrape, is I was grabbing the title, the price, and the availability, and then moving to the next page, and then grab the contents of the next page. So instead of doing that, uh, we're gonna try to grab the whole HTML, save it to a file, and then go to the next page, save the whole HTML. So the first thing that I'm gonna do here is uh, check the directory. So you, as you can see on the first page, we have a catalog forward slash page two as a directory. When I click on next, it jumps into that directory and then page two and then succeeding pages will just be page three, page four, etc. So let's jump back my code. Uh, where is my VX code. I'm just gonna quickly clone this and create a new file. And I'm just gonna oops, clear this. What's this? Clear. And oh, let me do that again. Sorry, got distracted there. So paste. And I'm gonna rename this to HTML. And then I'm going to create a folder here called catalog to recreate the same scenario for that and save those files in that catalog folder. So if you're not yet on the interactive shell on your terminal, I'm using VX code. So you could watch the previous uh, series on how to set up VX code, uh, how to the links for VX code and how to set up a pip environment here. So on my pip environment, I'm already in the shell. I could access Python. Uh, from there so this clone of the site scraper uh, to HTML from the CSV we're no longer interested in the CSV so we could remove that any reference to the writer we're gonna remove this uh, this one's calling the same method crawl new and then this one and also CSV here is no longer needed so we just say return none and all this CSV info here we just remove. So basically just call the crawl method, pass a blank URL, go to the, that page and then recursively go to the next page. So we don't need this details for the books because we're no longer grabbing the uh, title, price and availability. So strip that out and basically we left with just this one. So what you just need to do is create a file I'm gonna call it HTML file then open and this would create a file on your machine so if I just copy this put that there and give it a write permission that should create the file on your machine and then on the next statement if catalog string is in the new URL open this one else put the catalog string prefix first and then open the next URL. So that should be it. And then we just write out the contents of the file. So we say HTML file, write string soup. So the reason I put a string here is just by soup, it's a beautiful uh, soup object. So you need to uh, convert it to a string. And then I just say HTML file close. That should be it. So if I now run the script and say Python site scraper to HTML, it should run the method, start looping here, and then go to each pages. So if I open this, you would see that the pages are starting to build up. If I open one of them, you would see there's no content yet. So I found out that after the script 
finish execution that's the only time it writes the content to the file so everything is still being held in memory until the process is finished so I could quickly end the process by saying control C and do not let it finish looping to all the pages and once I did control C you could see that it started writing out the contents of the pages so this is the first, first page and then next page, next page, etc. Et so um, that's it. Uh, that's how easy is it um, to save the page as an HTML. So hope you like this video. Um, if you like more of these, please let me know. Uh, drop on something on the comments below. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Cheers. Bye for now.